Hi, my name is Matt. I'm one of the team members on the product team here at Wearlight. And in a second here, we're going to give you a brief overview on one of our new products. So what we have today is some of our new mini floods. Um, as you can see on the table here, we have three different sizes. We have a small housing, a medium housing, and a large housing. Um, they are powder coat bronze finish. They have a tempered glass lens. Um, very nice fixture, uh, quality. Uh, it's a little bit more of a slimline design. As you'll see, this body here is real thin. Uh, we have multiple options to mount these. So we have the adjustable swivel knuckle, um, that's here. This is the same fixture, um, but this fixture here has the trunnion mount on it, as you'll see. And then when you get into some of the bigger ones, we have the big adjustable yoke mount. And then we also have a, a, the adjustable slip fitter that goes on a two and three eighths diameter pipe um, for some of the bigger housings. These fixtures, they do come all with a multi-volt photo cell installed. Now this photo cell is here on the top. So if you don't want to use it on a photo cell and you want to turn it on and off by itself with a switch, you would keep this cap on. But if you want to use it with a photo control so when it gets dark out, it comes on by itself and in the morning it goes off, you'll just remove this cap. Very uh, slick design. So if you're a contractor and you have multiple of these on, on hand and you go to different job sites, um, it allows you to have one, one SKU on hand and you can cover a lot of different applications. Um, this here is the adjustable swivel uh, knuckle mount. So this is going to thread into a standard J box. On the side we have a Phillips screw. You would just loosen this, make your adjustment, and then it's got serrated teeth that lock it into place. And then you'll have your angle that you want. Um, on this one over here, with the trunnion mount, it has a couple of Allen bolts on each side. So this is something that you can put at whichever angle you want and then tighten these down and hold it into place. So what I want to say a little bit is with the smaller slimline design, um, it gets you something that if you have a little bit of a restricted area, something smaller area that you need to put something in for lighting, um, you have different options on a, a smaller body. Some of them are deeper. Um, this handle yoke mount is nice because you can hang it upside down. It just gives a lot of adjustability. Um, for different type of applications. Now we call these a lot of times on the website, you know, you'll see them listed as like a mini flood, architectural flood, uh, landscape flood. It's all gonna depend really on your application on what you're looking for uh, with the wide variety of wattages here and color temperatures. We should have pretty much everything you're gonna need to do what you need to do. Um, another good feature on this is I already took this out already to show you. It's got a threaded knockout or a coin plug. Each one of them have one in the bottom. Uh, so inside this hole when you take this out, this allows you to adjust the percentage of light and then there's also one that adjusts the color temperature. Um, in a little bit we'll actually put a cord on one of these and I'll show you how that's done. So some of these you're going to use for an application like landscape lighting with maybe you want to light the bushes um, along a sidewalk in an office park. Uh, something a little big, bigger, you may want to wall wash uh, the side of a building or a sign, something like that, into a subdivision, into a condo complex, into a business park. And then when you get into some of these bigger ones, you can actually put these on a pole. Um, you could put this one on a, a wall mount bracket. So this is a little more high output. Um, that's gonna give you not quite the level or usage of like a parking lot area light. It's still gonna keep you in that floodlight, so a little bit different application, um, not to be confused for a parking lot light. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to light one of these up so you can see some of the features with the photo cell and the tuning and stuff. Um, I'm going to plug this into the wall just so you know it does not come with a cord and to, to wire this. You're going to have to hardwire this into a junction box. This is just for demonstration purposes. So what you're going to see here is we have a pretty, pretty bright, bright floodlight here. Um, the feature on this series is inside this, as we talked about earlier, it's uh, color tunable. So we can adjust the dip switch and we can change the color on it. So if you have a different application that you need this for, um, it's user friendly, so you can adjust the temperature. So I'm gonna put this back onto the 5000K. And then inside it also has a, a dip switch that controls the percentage of light. So it's not, as you would say, dimmable through like a dimming switch, um, but you can adjust the percentage of light level by moving this dip switch in here. And it's really small increments um, but by the time you get to the top, 
you should see a slight noticeable difference. And what I'm going to do is I'll go from full bright down to the lowest percentage, and there you should be able to see that difference. Um, another thing I want to do is show you this as we talked about the photo cell that's on the top with the cap over it. So what I'm going to do is right now this is going to stay on um, nonstop. So I'm going to pull this off and I want you to be able to see that just by removing this cap after it gets a little bit of light, you'll see how sensitive it is and it's going to turn the fixture off. Uh, we put the cap back on, simulate the dark, and it comes right back on. So this is a really nice feature. It's a slimline design, a lot of mounting options, uh, color selectable, uh, percentage of light output can be manually adjusted inside all by removing this sim oops, simple coin plug out of the fixture um, to give you readily access. Um, I guess one other thing I want to go over is we talked a little bit about how to adjust this adjustable swivel knuckle. We talked about how to uh, adjust the trunnion mount, the yoke mount on the bigger fixture, a um, couple of Allen screws on the side. So you'll loosen these out, adjust to the angle that you want, and tighten it back up. And then on the adjustable slip fitter, um, it's going to come with this cap on the outside of this pivot joint. So a couple of Phillips screws, you're going to remove this. You'll have access to this large bolt. You loosen the bolt. These two halves are serrated, allows you to adjust it, tighten the bolt back down, gives you the angle you want. This plate also does have angle increments um, stamped into the housing. So that'll let you know if you want a certain angle you want to monitor at, you can keep your fixtures consistent. As always, if you ever have any questions on a product that you may see on our website or something that you might uh, not see on our website that you're looking for, you can always contact us toll free at 888-454-4480 or you can reach out to our sales staff and talk to an account manager at sales at warehouse, W-A-R-E-H-O-U-S-E hyphen lighting, L-I-G-H-T-I-N-G dot com. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So every time that you uh, want an update to see what we're putting out for new product and content, you'll get that right away. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.